this one. Um, something a bit new for me, and something new for Colin Baz, uh, since I've never tried before. I said in my last video I was working on a bit of a side project for Colin Baz. Um, well, they're now completed. Um, I'm very proud of it, and I hope to like them soon. Um, so, yeah, I'll show you. So, what I've actually been done is <laughs> I have repainted and, well, overhauled two of my lawn sails. I'll show you the second one in a minute. Um, now, this, <coughs> anyone who's watched my local fleet video, I'll know that I had um, a Class 33 in Network South East Colours. was one of my favourites. Um, and basically, I was weathering it, and I took it too far, um, and I tried to clean off some of the, the paint from my weathering, and basically ruined the Network South East Colours. Um, so, I had to repaint it, otherwise it just would have been a ruined model. Um, now, I've gone for... No, nice good old BR blue and yellow panels. I was very nervous doing this. Not something I've done before, especially with it being a favourite model. But I had to do something with it. Um, and to be honest, I'm very very happy with how it's come out. I did a, a bit of a tricky job masking off the front, but I managed it. Um, probably needs a little bit of touching up here and there, but hardly noticeable and I'm really 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 happy with it um, it's minus some logos and numbering and things like that I'll have to get some transfers um, but I hate transfers so that could be a while um, but yeah really really happy how it turned out looks really really good on the layout the bogies are weathered so you can really tell what they are um, so yeah I was happy how it came out um, and then whilst I was on with it a uh, good mate of mine, um, he's into detail and things like that on locals and it's something I've never ever tackled before um, and he kind of g'd me into it, helped me out with some parts and things like that um, so I gave it a go, so the entire front end now um, is detailed, there's wipers on the windows um, replacement buffers, all the hoses are on there and cables and snow plows as well um, that really really tricky job but so worth it and so glad I did it because it just looks 10 times better it's just brilliant love this model much more than I did you know in the NSC colours really really happy with it um, I do need to do the other end um, there's nothing on there yet but I need to sort out the coupling I do need a coupling on one end so I can still haul stock so I haven't done that yet um, but on the whole of it yeah, really, really proud of it. Um, so when I'd finished that one, I was kind of in the mood. Um, I wondered what other locals I had, and I thought, how about the grey 06 that I had? <coughs> um, I've got two of these 06s. Uh, I've got the BR blue one, and I had a grey one, don't know what sort of livery it was. Um, but it was an old one bit of a dodgy runner um, so I thought I'd give that a go nearly gave up on this halfway through I started to get really really annoyed with it um, I went for yellow because I've always wanted a yellow shunner I've seen some awesome layouts in magazines that I've just had some little yellow shunners pootling around on preserved lines and things like that so I thought I'd go for yellow took the body apart started painting it um, to start off with, it fell off my light and down the back of the radiator and got covered in fluff, so I had to take all the paint off and start it again, so I should have known then it was doomed. Um, but I carried on. Uh, again, my friend, he sent me some images of one offline, and that was brilliant. Um, but halfway through, I just, I wasn't feeling it. There was something about it I wasn't liking. Um, so, my friend suggested a grey roof, so it's got a grey roof. Um, and the inside of the windows are black just to lose some of the yellow. Um, every rivet, handle, everything on there I can find, every detailing part I've rusted. Um, so the badges on the sides, door handles, handles on the um, engine bonnets, around the grill at the front. Rusted it all, the stairs are rusted on the side. Um, just to add to the griminess, gave the grill on the front a bit of a darkening. Um, and it was brilliant. So when I was happy with that, 
um, it was a buffer beam then that I was falling out with. Um, they were yellow and it just looked too much. There was too much yellow on there. I originally wanted hazard stripes. Couldn't paint them straight enough. Got annoyed with it. Um, so I tried red buffer beams. Um, but there was just too much colour in there for my liking. It just looked a bit, you know, some out of toy town. Uh, so went back to yellow. Anyway, the hazard stripes that are on there now are actually, it's actual black vinyl. Um, what they make, you know, vehicle graphics with and things like that. Um, and they look really, really good. Really happy with it and glad I persisted with it and carried on. Um, again, added more detail in the front of this after the success of my 33. So there's new buffers on there and some hoses, not as many as the 33, just a couple. Um, and then to finish it off, I gave it a nameplate. Can't see it that well, but Iron Duke is its name. Um, and it's come out. You know, really well. Again, the back of it, like the 33 needs doing. Just turn it round. Um, I need to add the buffers on there. Added a driver and another little shunter figure on the side. There's three figures on all together, but, you know, I love it. I'm really glad I did it. So, I've even touched up the lights on the back, lights on the front. It's just, I'm just really happy with both of them. So, yeah, coming back has two new painted locos. Um, they've both been given a good service so we'll get some shots and have them running but yeah they I want to share uh, my success with you hope you like them so yeah we'll get some running shots in see ya